Now, sky watchers and anyone who secretly longs to howl at the moon are in for a treat tonight. The longest lunar eclipse of the century will be gracing South African skies. A so-called blood moon eclipse uh, like this won't be seen for another 100 years. South Africans will be able to look up and see with their naked eyes the longest eclipse. It kicks off at 8.24, so about half past eight tonight. The moon will start to change shape and color as it enters the shadow of the Earth, uh, which blocks out the sun. A full eclipse, a full blood moon from 9.30 to 11.13 p.m. That will have a reddish color as the light is refracted from the Earth's atmosphere. The eclipse uh, ending just before 20 past midnight. And now to discuss what's in store, we're joined by, I'm very happy, an astrophysicist, a, a real live astrophysicist. Thank you. Uh, Professor Leratori Liu, who's a renowned researcher and you've also been a research fellow for NASA. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> Start with NASA. What did you do there? Just give us some, some history. Um, so at NASA, I worked on um, these very, very old galaxies that are called elliptical galaxies, and I worked on how they uh, evolve. Presently, I mean, uh, previously, it was thought that um, because they are old galaxies, they didn't have new stars forming. This is how we define new stars, uh, I mean, um, old and new galaxies, um, but we had this new telescope that helped us reveal that in fact in these galaxies that we thought uh, were old, there were uh, you know, present new star formation. That was one of the exciting things we did there. Okay, so, so not really degenerating new star life, I, I suppose, in, in the sky. Are you particularly interested um, in lunar eclipses? That's much closer to home. Yes. Um, I mean, the lunar eclipse and uh, the moon itself is part of our solar system. And uh, so I have a big, big interest in that. Mm. And uh, it is exciting. And um, I'm now just remembering that when I worked at uh, NASA, I worked in what was called the moon room. And it was called that because um, on the... Um, missions to the moon mm -hmm. uh, or rather for the mo missions to the moon the maps uh, for going there were actually done in that room so the the moon actually does oh, have beautiful. that special for uh, place yeah. for me so you have an affinity with the, the moon so so we're bringing up um, some visuals now this is just of our solar system um, we've seen blood moons b before but is, is we're talking about the the length of time that it'll linger in the sky tonight isn't it yes so um, it is uh, the longest uh, uh, lunar uh, eclipse and that's because the moon is furthest uh, from Earth uh, you know, um, at this uh, time. So because it's uh, so far away, it actually takes a long time to go uh, in that uh, shadow of the Earth. Uh, remember that uh, we are calling it a lunar eclipse because the moon is going in the uh, shadow uh, of the uh, earth mm -hmm. and uh, that is why uh, we call it a lunar eclipse. So you've got the sun, the earth, the moon. We're, we're, we're sitting between the sun and the moon. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, and indeed, so, uh, you know, you, you can ask the question, how do we really know this, right? Uh, and uh, the very, very simple basic question is, where is the sun right now and where is the moon, right? Yeah. And we will know that the sun just set in the west and uh, this, uh, the moon right now is in the east. Um, so opposite uh, parts of the sky yes. and earth is in between and uh, so you're going to see the shadow of earth because we are there uh, you know in the middle of them. So, so you're saying what's happening now because this is going to be a very long eclipse okay. and that's because um, the moon is far away so, so that's what's giving it the, the length of time tonight. Yeah, yeah it's that's what's giving it uh, the length of time and it's actually so far away at the moment it's 400,000 kilometers away from Earth. When it's closest, it's 350,000 kilometers uh, away from Earth. And I'm really just mentioning those numbers because you are seeing the shadow of the Earth, you know, um, and the moon will cross that. And that shadow is actually extending that far, 400,000 kilometers. Wow. So it's really, really impressive. Well, what are you looking forward to? What, what do you think we'll see tonight? Will it be a far little pin pr uh, prick in the distance or will we see quite a big full moon? What are you expecting? So when the moon is so far from Earth, its size is smaller 
one of the smallest uh, you know we ever see the moon mm. so the moon itself will be uh, small but this is quite an impressive sight still and it's more uh, so, so impressive just you know that we've predicted it so precisely and th that uh, when we see it, we are seeing, you know, our place in the universe. We are seeing Earth, you know, uh, and its shadow, just mm. uh, in the same way that we know sh uh, shadows, uh, you know. Uh, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If people don't have a lot of, well, if they don't want to sit out in the cold for three hours, <laughs> what do you think is the best time to get outdoors and, and look up at the sky? Aha. Uh -huh. So I would say that um, you want to go in and out and, uh, you know, through this. So around half past eight we, we start? Yes, um, it's around half past eight we start, but it's good to see the entry uh, of the moon into the shadow because mm -hmm. you'll first see, uh, you know, the little curve and then you'll see uh, the, the colors uh, as um, the moon, uh, you know, goes deeper in the, into the eclipse. Yes or the shadow and then finally when it's fully uh, covered um, so I would say you don't have to be there the entire time but you can sort of visit the site uh, every uh, 20 uh, 30 minutes <laughs> to just uh, enjoy those changes as uh, you, you know, okay go so between them. supper and glasses of wine and maybe a movie uh, 824 it begins and it will be fully eclipsed from 930 uh, are you excited does it does this make you excited I'm very, very uh, excited. I mean, the fact that um, we can use uh, this uh, data from observations of the moon and then be able to predict its path is it's really, really important. Mm -hmm. um, it's particularly important now in this age of um, information from social media, um, from uh, the internet, where we are faced with uh, having to decide what's, uh, what uh, object objectively is tr the truth yeah you know this is as far as we go about objective truth you know uh, we are really really seeing it out there yeah we can predict it to the second thank you very much professor you will be with us uh, later at eight o'clock tonight i will be with the professor uh, with the meteorologist will be on the roof uh, giving you that sort of preview before the lunar eclipse starts at 8 24 p.m we'll still be on air then so join us uh, and in the interim lots more news to come we'll take a short